Well, I was picking and digging up all my taters, getting them washed up, ready to be dried down a little bit. Oh, we had a few good ones, there's no question there. There's a fair sized tater. But most of them ain't very big, and that's all we got this year. That's a pretty sad state of affairs. Most of the time, I'll have two of these clear full of taters. Just didn't work this year for me. But we'll get by. But you're here for a story. Okay. Let's see if I can give you one. I've been Mr. Bill for 30 years here in McCook. That means that 6,000 kids have grown up knowing Mr. Bill and buying snow cones from him. Most of 6,000. Sadly, most of them leave the city of McCook because of the heavy government here and the heavy taxation. But be that as it may, they come back though, and when they do, they'll stop and see Mr. Bill. Bring their kids, they do. And tell me how they're doing in life, and I always am grateful. And I see the gamut from those that have re reached up uh, and got the golden ring and become wealthy. And I've seen those that have come up to my truck so far. The record is a kid, a kid got out of prison. He'd been in there for 10 years. And he said, the first thing I want to do is come back to McCook and get a snow cone from Mr. Bill. Because he said that's about the only good memories he had in his life. I've had all kinds that come back and visit. I had a gentleman not too far back uh, come from Denver. Now he is rumored to be on the dark side and he's never said one way or t'other other than his associations sound very close to the mob, if you will. He uh, mentioned that one of the videos that I had shot just shortly, just a few weeks after 9-11, and I said, I wish there had been a cowboy on that plane, because I think a cowboy could have made a difference. He said, no, nah, you're wrong there, Mr. Bill. Cowboy wouldn't have done much good. But he said, what would have done some good? He said, if we'd have had a, a mob hitman on that plane. A mob hitman. A killing machine. He said, that old boy, he said, he'd have made a difference. He said, that would have been a game changer. Now I said, yeah, I've heard some tales that they, they are a tough breed, no question. And he said that, uh, a good example, he said that uh, you get all these law enforcement, he said when they go after a hitman, he said there'll be 30 or maybe 50 cops going after him. That tells you how much they respect and how much they fear a hitman. And it also says maybe that they're just a wee bit cowardly. I don't know if I agree with that, but that's what he said. And be that as it may, he said you'll never see a single cop or law enforcement, even the, the famous uh, Homeland Security, not one-on-one -on -one against a mob hitman. They haven't got the courage. Even Navy SEALs wouldn't try one. I'm told that it was the way he was a saying it. Okay, that may well be. And so we was discussing a little bit more, and then I said, you know, I do have a question, though, since you're on that edge and knowing those people. I said, why is it when 9-11 happened and they was offering $25 million for old uh, Bin Laden, why in God's name didn't, uh, you know, the old mob step up and say, we'll take care of this, and for $25 million, that ain't chump change. And he said, well, the fact of the matter is, he said, we did. He said, we, some of the bosses did offer to go over there and get him and promise to have him within 30 days. In 30 days. And they even offered for that $25 million that they'd kill every one of his wives and every one of his children. Just to make a point over there that messing over here isn't permitted. But he said they were told to stand down. They were told to leave it alone, not even go after him to capture him. Nothing. You don't do anything about that. And he said that came from as high as, could, as it could possibly come from the government. Now, people lie to me every once in a while. Maybe he was a lion too. But sometimes I've found that even when people are a lion, they're still telling more truth than the government ever tells us every day and expects us to believe it. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. I hope you have a good fall. It's cooling down. 
and it's time for harvest. And hopefully we can do better on the river gardens that I haven't got to yet. Rate this film.